Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout New Vegas, my name is Camel and in this video we will be running through all of the unobtainable apparel that can be or cannot be found in Fallout New Vegas. None of this unobtainable apparel can be obtained via normal gameplay means. You can get mods, there are glitches and bugs and things of such nature where you can acquire some of these items. However, via normal gameplay means, these items are unobtainable. And for the first unobtainable piece, we have Arcade's Lab Coat, with a damage threshold of 0, a value of 8, a weight of 2, an item health of 100, and effect, it adds a plus 5 to science. And location, it is worn by Arcade Ganon. Although it is worn by Arcade Ganon, if he dies, it cannot be looted, and it cannot be reverse pickpocketed either. Interestingly, it only adds plus 5 to science, whereas the Follower's Lab Coat adds plus 5 to science and plus 5 to medicine. This could be because Arcade Ganon only researches for the followers of the apocalypse and does not provide medical care. Next we have Cass's outfit with a damage threshold of 0, a value of 6, a weight of 1, an item health of 100, effects are not applicable as there are none, and it can be found being worn by Cass. Cass's outfit is a completely unique looking outfit. It includes a diamond shaped necklace with a rose in the center that was left to her by her father, a brown suede leather jacket, a pink and white plaid shirt with black buttons and worn out jeans with a large hole above the left knee. There is also something that looks like a handkerchief attached to her belt in the back. And of course the second half of the set, Cass's hat with a damage threshold of 0, a value of 8, a weight of 1, an item health of 15, effects are not applicable. And once again, it is worn by Cass. Cass's hat is a unique variant of the Rattan Cowboy hat. Next we have Dean's hologram outfit with a damage threshold of 2, a value of 8, a weight of 2, an item health of 100, and effects are not applicable. And it can be seen being worn by Dean Domino as he is performing on stage during the quest Curtain Call at the Tampico. As you can see, it's a completely white suit with a black tie, and of course it's transparent because it is holographic. This holographic effect passes on to your character. Dean's hologram outfit also comes from the Dead Money DLC. Next up we have the Enclave Officer uniform with a damage threshold of 1, a value of 8, a weight of 3, an item health of 100, effects is plus 5 to energy weapons. And the second half to the set, the Enclave Officer hat with a damage threshold of 0, a value of 6, a weight of 1, an item health of 10, and also adds plus 5 to energy weapons. Both of these uniform pieces will only appear on Judah Krieger if he participates in the second battle of Hoover Dam. You will not be able to acquire the uniform through reverse pickpocketing or any other means in-game without using content. Commands. Next up we have Eulogy Jones's suit with a damage threshold of 0, a value of 6, a weight of 3, an item health of 100, effects is plus 1 to charisma and plus 2 to guns. Location is not applicable as this was cut content from the final version of Fallout New Vegas, which is a shame because this suit is Pimpin. Eulogy's hat, however, can be found in game and will be covered in the appropriate apparel headpieces video. Next up, we have the Fedora. Ugh. With a damage threshold of 0, a value of 30, a weight of 1, an item health of 100. Effects are minus 4,000 to personality. What? In game, it can be found being worn by Detective Jay Barnes at the Ultra Lux, who you will encounter during the quest Beyond the Beef. And just note if you do have the Wild Wastelands trait active, you will not encounter Detective Jay Barnes, but instead encounter Caruso. Next we have Jason Bratt's outfit with a damage threshold of 1, a value of 100, a weight of 7, an item health of 100, effect is plus 42 rads resistance, and this can be found being worn by Jason Bright, who is of course the leader of the Bright Brotherhood Ghouls at the Repcon test site. When you equip this item to your player, it replaces the skin of your character, where the patches in the clothing are missing, with Jason Bright's skin, this glowing one ghoulish skin. And because Jason Bright is bald, it also replaces the skin on your character's cranium. Next up we have the Mysterious Stranger's Outfit with a damage threshold of 0, a value of 40, a weight of 3, an item health of 100. Effects not applicable. And this is of course worn by the Mysterious Stranger. The Mysterious Stranger's Outfit seems to be a 1940s trench coat. Also no headgear but the Mysterious Stranger's hat can be worn with this outfit as equipping any other headpiece will unequip the Mysterious Stranger's Outfit. And on the note of the Mysterious Stranger's hat, we have the Mysterious Stranger's hat with a damage threshold of 0, a value of 30, a weight of 1, and an item health of 100. Effects are, once again, not applicable. And once again, it is of course worn by the Mysterious Stranger and it shares the skin with the Fedora. 
Next up we have the Mysterious Stranger's Outfit for the female. Damage threshold of 0, value of 40, a weight of 3, and item health of 100. Effects are not applicable, and the location it is found being worn by Miss Fortune. And the other piece of course, the Mysterious Stranger's Hat for the female. Damage threshold of 0, value of 30, weight of 1, item health of 100, and effects are not applicable. And once again, worn by Miss Fortune. That chick with this super cool gun. Much like the Mysterious Stranger, Miss Fortune will only turn up if you have the Miss Fortune perk. However, Misfortune's attacks deal very low damage and as you know if you've seen the unobtainable weapons video her gun has some other interesting effects. Next up we have the Psychic Nullify with a damage threshold of 1, a value of 8, a weight of 1, an item health of 15. Item effects are not applicable and the location it can be found being worn by the Forecaster. The Forecaster is the Psycho Child living under the bridge at 188 Treading Post. He claims to have psychic abilities and crazy thoughts. He wears the Psychic Nullifier and he calls it his medicine and claims that it stops these crazy thoughts and psychic abilities. Sounds like an absolute nutbag. Next we have the Repcon jumpsuit with a damage threshold of 0, value of 6, a weight of 1, an item health of 100, effects is plus 5 to repair. Location, it is not found in game, and it is cut content. The same as Tony Abbott's brain. As you can see, the Repcon jumpsuit is a pale blue variant of the jumpsuit with a black Repcon logo written across the back. And interestingly, it can only be repaired with Robco jumpsuits. <laughs> Next up we have the Starlet Hologram Outfit with a damage threshold of 2, a value of 6, a weight of 2, an item health of 100, effects are not applicable. The Starlet Hologram Outfit can be seen being worn by the Starlets inside the Sierra Madre Casino. As we can see it is a black dressy dress and because it's a holographic piece of apparel it is transparent and that holographic effect passes on to your character. And this item is of course found in the Dead Money DLC. Carrying on, we have the Starlet Wig. With a damage threshold of 2, a value of 6, a weight of 2, an item health of 100, effects are not applicable, aside from being super cute. Location is once again not applicable as it was cut content from the Dead Money DLC. It is also speculated that this item was removed from the Dead Money DLC due to an odd glitch. When worn indoors under shadowy low light conditions, the wig turns white. And the darker it gets, the flower hairpin, on the other hand, seems to glow as if under a neon black light. Next we have the Trench Coat with a damage threshold of 0, a value of 40, a weight of 3, an item health of 100, effects are not applicable. And this can be found being worn by a Detective J Barnes, once again who you encounter in the Ultralux during the quest beyond the beef, and as before with the fedora, ugh. Detective J Barnes will not appear in that quest in the Ultralux if you have the Wild Wastelands trait active, and instead you will encounter Caruso. The Trench Coat and the Mysterious Stranger's outfit for the male share a skin of this 1940s Detective Trench Coat. For the next piece, we have the Vault 24 Jumpsuit. Damage threshold of 0, a value of 6, a weight of 1, an item health of 100 effects, a plus 2 to melee weapons, and plus 2 to speech. Location is not applicable as the Vault 24 Jumpsuit is cut content. Obviously, the jumpsuit belongs to inhabitants of Vault 24, but the only evidence of this vault even existing is this jumpsuit in the game files of Fallout New Vegas. Therefore, the location and the original purpose of the Vault experiment in Vault 24 is unknown. Leaving his jumpsuit is just a shrouded cloud of mystery hovering above us all. Next we have Veronica's Armored Robes, with a damage threshold of 6, a value of 30, a weight of 3, an item health of 100, effects are not applicable, and of course it is worn by Veronica. And the second half of the set is Veronica's Hood, with a damage threshold of 0, a value of 30, a weight of 1, an item health of 10, effects are not applicable once again. And believe it or not, it is also worn by Veronica. Veronica's Armored Robes and Veronica's Hood cannot be reverse pickpocketed off Veronica, nor if Veronica dies can they be looted from her body, therefore making them unobtainable. Visually, they seem to have the same skin as the Druid outfit from Fallout 3, however the branches have been taken off, making it less crude but more boring. And lastly we have the White Mask, which is not to be confused with the White Glove Society Mask. They do share the same skin, but they are different items. The White Mask has a damage threshold of 0, a value of 10, a weight of 1, an item health of 15, effects are not applicable, and the location is not applicable as it is cut content from Fallout New Vegas. It is thought that the White mask is a placeholder for the White Glove Society mask. Apart from that, nothing is known about this mask.
And there you have it, that does conclude the video for Fallout New Vegas' unobtainable apparel pieces and sets. I do hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video. As you can see on screen, there are links to the other videos in this Fallout New Vegas Rare and Unique series. So please feel free to check those out. I think you'll really enjoy them. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Don't forget to leave a comment letting me know your favorite items and what items you wished you could have had in-game. Of course, be sure to share this video amongst your fellow Vault dwellers. And as always, if you did enjoy this video and you would like to see videos similar to this one, please subscribe. It helps me know that people are interested in these kind of videos and in the long run will result in more of these kind of videos. The links to the videos on screen will also be in the description for you guys on the mobile and the links to Facebook and Twitter will also be in the description so please feel free to check those out, see some behind the scenes stuff and keep up to date with the channel. With that said, I would like to thank you very, very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there.